you, be, you better believe it. I mean, uh, uh, you, you, so you're in J, J, Jacksonville, Florida. Yeah, Jacksonville, Florida. Okay, yeah, you, you better believe it, man, because uh, I've been through it. When I seen that, it kind of gravitated me. I don't know what it was, but it your energy or something. I've I seen the other cats on that. I said, nah, I ain't. I didn't pay nobody else, you know, any other retainers. Mm -hmm. But not retainers, you know what I mean? Consultation, I mean. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm, I said, okay. I'm, I'm gonna tell you like this. Um, I've been I've been at this for 20 years. Uh, mm -hmm. Wrote some books, and what okay. I what I what I be praying on mm -hmm. are, is that people share my videos. So it, it you know. I think oh, that, yeah. um, I don't, I, it's, it's somebody said to me about three, four months ago, that there's just no way you shouldn't have 50,000 subscribers. And I just said, um, <laughs> that's just how it is. And um, I, I, I tell you what, though, I, I mean, to cut you off, I apologize. No, you're right. I have a pretty, I have a pretty good following um, on my podcast page, not 50,000. Uh -huh. and, and I got a movie coming I got a movie coming out on Amazon Prime in April. Oh wow! Yeah, so when when this is all said and done, when everything is finished with me, I look forward to working with you. Yeah, I want to bring you on. I'm I'll bring you on the show. And oh. Trust me, it's gonna be packed. <laughs> yeah, I, I appreciate it, man. Because uh, right. people yeah. people people um, just don't they don't they don't realize like what I'm I'm gravitating towards now is getting back to the Constitution and how I didn't I didn't had about four or five clients this week. Um, you know, pop up uh, court orders in the mail. And I'm like, well, mm -hmm. did you do this? Did you do that? Nothing was done. And I'm like, the constitution don't, don't allow this. And I'm like looking at, I'm looking at court orders. They're saying, well, due to the, the recommendation of the, of the hearing officer. And I'm like, so that's what j courts are doing. They're using hearing officers as the, well, right. they did it, not me. And the judge is sitting in the cut looking all innocent. And that's what's yeah. that's what's going on. It's 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 like you have to like I tell people, uh, you know, when a detective comes to a crime scene, he wasn't there, but the way everything is laid out and everything, he can figure it out. And you, you yeah. got to know it to 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 see it. And uh, I see right. it, and I'm like, okay, this is how we're going. We're gonna be on a job, and job stands for judges on blast. So that's a new segment that I'm starting. <laughs> I'll give you the short version with mine. Well, then we'll get into the rest. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I like that. I was in the military too. I like to get kind of get to the you know the meat and potatoes of it. Right. Okay. okay. This this past October, me and baby mama, of course, uh -huh. she she got mad about some bullshit. He said, "Well, we'll see about that. Let's let the people decide." So I got a notice of a filing. It was just a letter, plain letter saying that a, a case has started. Okay. Come November, check my mailbox. The twenty day letter was in there. I'm sure you know about that. Uh huh. Okay. And I hired an attorney. She replied back 20 days to do what she's supposed to do. And then all of a sudden, Charles Port called my black ass and say, I got to get served. I said, well, I already replied back to y'all, you know, saying what I wanted to be in a blah, you know, all that stuff, things like that. He said, we got to have a, uh, you got to get served. And they, and they, they was coming to my um, door, but I was not home. So I said, if I had the mentality, kiss me if you can, assholes, I didn't reply to y'all last. Right. You got me? So right. somebody at Charles Polk fucked up and mailed me the letter or something, whatever happened, but I've already replied back. So now I'm moving forward. Nothing happened. Holidays go through, you know, blah, blah, blah. I checked the status online. We cannot serve the, serve me so-and-so, blah, blah, blah. And, and where, and where are you out. at? I'm in Jacksonville, Florida. And, Yo, I'm, um, I'm working with a been, guy right now. It's the mm -hmm. exact opposite with him. They yep. just going straight, <laughs> blowing through the shit with him. Right. Wow. Okay, I'm going to wrap it up. So no, I no, no, the, take um, your time, take your time, take your time. Okay, I always okay, tell, people, okay. I tell people, give me the long version, so go ahead. Okay, so I tell you, it didn't even happen. You know, that was October, we replied back. Now, the holidays went through, of course, it wasn't nothing. So I checked the internet. You can check it online in Jacksonville. I checked uh, February 17th this past. Uh, the notes was in there. The mom turned her stuff in and... They couldn't serve me and all that. They're going to give me a notice of an administrative order just a proposal. I didn't get that yet now. So, of course, the standard letter says I must sign it by law. Parenting time, income, blah, blah, blah. I checked the notes last week. Everything got damn blank. My partner had access to the court system. He checked to the, the, see if my case, my case notes, everything blank. Ain't nothing in the system. I said, what the hell? 
So what does that mean? I don't know, but I'm still, I'm, well, I talk to my, I'm going to still work with you, don't, me and you in this, because my lawyer, she, I don't, I don't think she's, is what y'all saying, they don't really know a lot of these laws I'm finding out. <laughs> the first thing she was saying, you know, the parenting time and all this, I'm a disabled vet, so she can't get my money any damn way. Right. You know, and I don't work nowhere else. Right. You know, and I did, I did go to work, and I had this, before child support even, um, um, it started back this past August. The case started in October. I got hurt on the job. My damn went against the grain, and I got hurt, so I can't work no more. You know, I uh -huh. shouldn't have went there no way. So they can't hold that against me. That was before child uh -huh. support. Uh -huh. But I never told my baby mama I'm 100% disabled. That thank God, uh -huh. she gonna find out. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh huh. That's right. 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 And that's really what it is. I just and I, I went to check. What, the but hold on, hold on. What, what do you mean she's gonna hmm. find out? What do you mean? Well, out. I'm sure she. I'm sure they're gonna want to. When they get down to the nitty gritty, she'll find that she, she. She. I don't have to tell her what I make. The state of Florida don't have no jurisdiction on my hundred percent disability from the military. Nothing. Period. For what I was reading. Well, that that's exactly correct. Because I'm a hundred percent. So I was. Right trying there, to, you I, go. I was trying to figure <laughs> out how you. How is she gonna find out? Because she's not. Oh, okay. Well, well I never told her. about ain't like, gonna tell her. The VA is not no, going to tell her. She, she's going to do the same uh, thing Atiyah LaShawn Bradley did. Uh, Atiyah okay. LaShawn Bradley came, went twice. I told Atiyah LaShawn Bradley, listen, there's some benefits that our daughter is entitled to. Atiyah said, okay, well, screw you. I'm going to go down there and try to get everything yourself. The VA called me up while she was right there in the office. Damn. Yep. And I said, wow, you really going to, you really going to try to surprise me? I said, no. <laughs> Do not extend benefits. Don't. Oh, okay. Wow. Yep. Oh, my God. How old is the child? Hey, hey. My daughter nine. She waited till my daughter turned nine. Well, you you, you know you're supposed to be getting money for your daughter, though, right? Yeah, I, I, I do get it. It's like, it's like 130 right. bucks. Right. Yeah. And I'm married, so. But, but, one, but she still used my damn daughter. My daughter is on the insurance from the VA. She used that. Uh-huh. You know? And, and that's basically... In a nutshell, I went to check the paternity, uh, what do they call it, the acknowledgement of paternity. That is forged. What do you mean? I, I went to um, Vital Statistics last Thursday, and they couldn't give me a copy, but that copy showed that it was blank. My signature wasn't there. So they said, you know, I have to request a copy in the mail, which is fine. I got it today. All of a sudden, my name on that shit from 2018, the people who witnessed it, I don't know none of them motherfuckers. I don't know who the fuck them people is. Is it is, is, is signed or is your name just printed on it? Oh, they, it's printed and signed. Is your signature? Yeah. Um. Yeah. They, yeah. It's a signature on there. Two people. No, I mean, is, is, it in your, is, your, is it in your handwriting? Nah, that, it looks like it, but it, it, you can tell it's forged. Uh -huh. Yes, correct. And the witnesses on there, I don't know where in the hell they find these people at. Uh -huh. And on her side, it's two different other witnesses. It's four people. I don't know who the hell was there. Me and the baby mama was never there to sign nothing. Period. Uh -huh. I don't know none of that. I don't know what the hell that how that happened. And normally it's signed where in the court? I mean, in the um, hospital. I gotta find out. Well, the, well, the hot, my daughter was born in 2014. These signatures are from 2018. Uh huh. I never signed nothing in the hospital, which I knew that. So I went to get a copy. So you showed me a blank. So you copy. have that copy. So, so you have yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Yeah. yeah, I got it today in the mail, the one with the forgery. I said, what the hell? I yeah, don't know well, these people who witnessed my signature. Yeah. I don't even know them. Well, you know what that's called, right? What it's called? It's called identity theft. Right. I don't know who in the hell signed, witnessed my so I don't know none of them. Do you people. still talk to this woman? Nah, not since last year. Uh-uh. <laughs> well, can you, can you just text her or email her or y'all just cut off communication? I, oh, I, oh, I, oh, I can. Can what? I can text her. We can be cordial. I can I can call her, and I'm sure she'll yeah. pick up. Or, okay. Yeah, I can do it tomorrow. Yeah, well, well I, I would text her and say, to my surprise, my name is on a birth certificate. I'm going mm -hmm. to press charges against you for identity theft. Right. Yeah. Right. Here's how it always is with these women. Here's how it always is. They are freelancers of bullshit. Mm -hmm. Until you decide to say, let me show you how I hit back. Right. And then when you hit them back, they can't take it. No, they can't. She thought because her sister works at child support. And uh -huh. she thought because of her sister's day, I don't have rights. And 
you know. Mm-hmm. And there's no, it, no doubt in my mind, I think Florida State law, you can get served in the mail also mm-hmm. or, what, or, you know, process service. So they sent me the goddamn letter in the mail. I replied back. They totally ignored that shit from November. Right. And it, and it said by law, I have to sign the administrative paperwork, you know, and get it that I'm turning in my financials. And I, I called them. I said, what law saying I have to get my signature? They couldn't answer me. Right. There, <laughs> there's a one. Don't, don't, uh, don't hand in nothing. Right. Um, right. My lawyer did say don't turn in nothing. And she did tell me that part. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't turn them in nothing. And, um, yeah, that, that's just where you're at. Um, uh, yeah, that's like, that's and, identity theft 100. Yeah. That's identity theft. And, um, you can just like, I have a guy, his case is in Florida. He live in Washington uh-huh. and they okay. just went full steam ahead. And I'm like, dang, they ain't tell him they had to serve him. They just went and went ahead and, I said, nah, that's wow. not how this work, bro. That's not how this work. But wow. I just did a video uh, mm-hmm. that I'm posting about how individuals will always try and act as if, though, wrong has some room in this process. And mm-hmm. it doesn't. It doesn't. Wrong, mm-hmm. you cannot do. The Constitution states that if there's any part of this process that's wrong, the whole thing is thrown out. And it's not. Well, we we gonna throw oh. we gonna throw it out, but we gonna go ahead and keep your information. Is on no, you got to throw everything out and re start the process. So if I decide not to give you nothing, if I did give you before, you cannot use that. You got to throw everything out, and that's that's the unfortunate thing that that um that these individuals are running around here just because there's all women at work in there. That's why you're saying my signature ended up on there, and I don't know how it, it went. Ended it up. is, it is somebody somebody. <laughs> Yeah, in the state of Florida, they don't care. A man can sign a birth certificate, but as long as they don't care about the birth certificate, that does not constitute paternity in the state of Florida. They go by that um, um, that um, acknowledgement of paternity paper. That's what they use. They don't right. care about the birth certificate. Right. If you ain't married to the mama, right. it's that paper that was forged. I said, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, I don't even know these people. <laughs> um, um, I'll tell you this. And, and I wouldn't, they, and the service was all messed, was all jacked up because I replied back, they ignoring it. And they were, they, they, I don't know. I just, you know, whatever we can do, what, what you think. And, hey. Well, um, what I always tell individuals um, when, they, when they contact me, um, some of the things that I can tell people um, they could use, but then some people need additional so i actually oh, okay i actually um my services are 399 for 90 days it's not okay. that um it's not that um uh it's not that for uh disabled veterans it's 199 okay um, i got you and what what i do is i puppet you through the process so okay. They gonna be sitting up there saying, "How the hell do you know all this stuff?" You are gonna be knowing their moves, and they are gonna be like, "Whoa, whoa, what, what?" And and listen, I I had a um, I had a um, uh, I had an individual who was paying child support to for a woman that gave custody over to somebody else, and the child lived four hundred miles away. He went and wow. gave he gave them he gave them. Uh, he gave them uh, a school. He attended the school every day. Um, and they still, they didn't want to hear it. They didn't want to hear it. For a year and a half, 18 months, she was going through welfare to get it. So welfare was like, we don't care. We don't care. So uh, I've dealt with welfare probably three or 400 times. And the, wow. the thing is always the same. I, I, I tell them straight up, listen, um, what you're going to do, I tell them just like that, what you're going to do is drop child support and you're going to bring this individual up on fraud. And, I, and wow. I, I asked them, I said, listen, are you guys, I said, since when do you allow people to be child support distributors? You give That's them right. child support and then they distribute it to where it's supposed to go. Where did they, when did they start this? I told that dude, right. when, you, when you go to court, 
I bet you the judge is not going to participate. He went in the courtroom, the judge stepped out, and they start talking. Everything that I said, I said, welfare is going to back out. They did. The two people that was in there for welfare, the welfare, the child support, the welfare people said, we're, we're, not, we're no longer, um, uh, we're out of this. We're canceling it. They, they handed it over to just strictly child support. I told him. He said as things was unfolding, he was damn near about to go into a coma. He called me up. He said, holy shit. I said, bruh, the Constitution, when you know the law, they sit in there and you think yeah. they acting all tough and all that. And then you're going to go to court and I'm going to tell you just what you're going to hear. He said, what's that? I had said, you're going to hear. I said, that's what the fuck you going to hear. I said, I guarantee you. And he said that when, when they decide, when they was discussing what they was going to do, he said, the judge stepped out. He said, you were absolutely oh. right. I said, yeah, the judge don't want to participate in none of that shit. They know better. Because he can't. He can't. He can't. Because they fucking him. <laughs> they fucking him. Because they know he's going to get fucked. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. I done battled judges. Had one judge moved off the bench. The second judge, they just said he... He transferred. I would like to count that as a move. Also, I'm just not for the for the for the for the nonsense. Um, I, I had a client today. Okay. Uh, I had a client today. Uh, he asked me for a refund. I found it funny. I wanted to do a video about it, but I said, you know what? Wow. I'm gonna leave it alone. But here's here's what happened. There are individuals that are. There are individuals that are fathers and there are individuals that are just ducking child support that's right and uh he asked me uh, he, he he got on board and then i gave him all the the, the creature comforts of mm -hmm. what he didn't have to worry about okay so i gets up this morning and i get a call from lydia and she's like uh this person requested their funds back. Mm -hmm. So I said, really? I said, screenshot it and send it to me. I, I leave the the phone in the office. And then I, I go in the office in the evening. She works in a, in a day. She sets everything up for me, quarterback it to me, nonetheless. And so I, I decide, I, 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 I text them. I said, could you do me a favor? Can you tell me exactly what it is that I told you different from before you hired us to after? What was the difference? Did I tell you anything mm -hmm. different? Mm -hmm. He said, I, I just I just want my money back. I said, so I asked you a question and the best thing you can give me is I want my money back. Then I screen, I text him what he told PayPal. I said, but mm -hmm. that's not what you told PayPal. You told PayPal you paid the wrong person. Mm, oh. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh oh, he lied. <laughs> yeah, of course. I said, so basically you're telling me now that you want your money back after you already tried to get it back and failed. I said, you will fail here too. We don't get money back. We don't get money back. I said, uh, you you are booked until the thirteenth of uh May thirteenth. And if you choose to use your services cool enjoy your day actually your price your price ain't bad believe it or not of course it's not i i, I don't it I, ain't. <laughs> I don't and i appreciate that uh i don't i really I, i'm really trying to help people i really want people to have the attitude that i have when i seen that I, that was a wrap i've seen some other cats on instagram making some steam but they wasn't they wasn't like you yeah, real talk i appreciate it yeah yeah next friday well, i think we get our check early jay was it because I think the 31st, uh, first is on a Saturday, something like that. Yeah. I, I think we get it on the first, so yeah. I'll be ready to go next Friday, and yeah. I, I don't, um, just tell me what I need to do. Yeah. Um, e email, how you, how do y'all do it, or 